Hey guys, welcome to the channel if you're new, welcome back if you're a subscriber. Special thanks to all my patrons, my name's Neil, and it's time for the next episode of Taskmaster. You may have noticed I'm not in my studio. Special circumstances this week, guys, and I apologize because you're probably watching this later than you had hoped. I am on a short vacation with my entire family celebrating my parents' 50th anniversary, so they get first priority this weekend. Um, I will do my best to get this out as quickly as possible, but A, my parents get priority, and B, I didn't bring my entire studio with me, so we're kind of making do. I'm running all of this just off my uh, eight-year-old laptop. Uh, I'm not even sure that this is actually going to work, but I'm crossing my fingers, and we'll get it out to you as quickly as possible. I hope you understand. Yeah, I think that's all I've got to say on that. I was so excited after the first episode of this new series, guys, because it was freaking hilarious. The tasks were great. The entire cast brought a really good energy. They're already bickering, which is fun. And uh, I think there's going to be some generally bad performers. I don't think Ardle's going to necessarily do very well over the course of the next 10 weeks. Uh, Chris seems to have uh, tied up the position of front runner right now, but obviously a lot can change in nine weeks to follow. Um, but it's it's amazing how much I missed that energy in the studio. Um, you, you you don't necessarily like you certainly noticed when we went to COVID protocols and we had to spread the cast out. You know, the stage looked so bizarre and empty. Um, but you didn't necessarily... Your, your first thought wasn't necessarily, oh, the lack of a crowd really changes the energy here. But but bring that crowd back into the theater. And it's just... It's a really cool vibe. And uh, I'm glad we've got it back. It, it just amps up the entire show so I, I i'm i'm crossing my fingers that the rest of the series is as good as the first episode and i am psyched to jump into it i hope you guys are too let's do it here we go episode two. Oh, that's a different uh transition alex on the polaroid like that all for the chance to take home a trophy that is yet to make its three pound reserve on ebay <laughs> I'd pay three pounds for it in an instant. I finished my letter to Santa. <laughs> Dear Santa, this year I want spaghetti, <laughs> press-up equipment to that floor, uh, a million earrings and infinity wishes, because that way... Um, He's written on a Kleenex. Know. They had to bring in today the object that you would most like to show to an alien. Oh. So this is going to be all about the per... the argument. Whether they will ever get to show them to an alien, I'm afraid I just don't know at this stage. <laughs> <laughs> all scripted. <Yeah>. Incredible. <laughs> I would show an alien the film E.T. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we think you're like. <laughs> so I would show them a historical artefact. A portrait of me and my housemates but in the style of a Dutch militia company. <laughs> well, I, I, I feel like I've had a stroke at this stage. <laughs> but this would confuse their understanding of the timeline. Enabling you to... Win. Travel through time. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I don't either. I think they'd spend ages analysing this. Yeah. I think they'd spend most of their time just, just colouring it in. <laughs> Show an alien a Ruby Kubi. <laughs> a Ruby Kubi? That's what a I'm Rubik's calling. Cube? Okay. okay. Yeah. These aliens are always going on like, you know, they're so smart. They're smarter than <laughs> us. I would say I am Queen Zafufu and I do not take part in these things. And, and your uh, Queen Zafufu is um, powerful something I made of... up I made up in my head. No way. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> 
E.T. is going to get three points. We rule about lawnmower. Get away from this question. That's a lovely bit of kit. <laughs> <laughs> Aliens would either be well impressed or they'd improve it somehow, which would be win-win for me. Well, we don't know. It's all hypothetical. I mean, I, I, I'm looking at you, Alex. You didn't even like the bit at the beginning. It's about, it's Sean Alien. We don't know anything about these aliens. Oh, he's gone too Geordie for me. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing uh, to show an alien would be uh, a mirror. Like, as in frankincense. Uh, <laughs> a mirror. A, mirror. a handheld mirror. <laughs> And I think if they had a good look at themselves, saw all the heads and the slithery bits and the drool, you know, they might become quite self-conscious and, you don't and think retreat. They, 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 they've invented I want you all interstellar to travel. What Ardle's done then. Mm. He's brought something totally shit in. <laughs> <laughs> but they've never invented a mirror. But what he's done is he's constructed quite a clever argument mm. that means I can give him more points than all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's getting a robotic lawnmower, too. So, I mean, like, dang. I'm going to give all of the others two points each. Wow. Wow. Just, just a smackdown of, a, of an opening task. This is fun. Oh, of course. They're all fun. <laughs> no, they're not. Oh. No, they're not. <laughs> Either tie a ribbon around the maypole or strike it with a ping pong ball. You must be properly blindfolded at all times. Thank you. Of course I must. And must never step beyond the rope. Your time starts when Alex gives you a thumbs up. No, I won't give you a thumbs up till you spin around ten times. Oh. I say I've got to do that. I know, but that's what's going to happen. Do you get dizzy if you're blindfolded? <laughs> that's definitely ten times. No, that's twelve now. Yeah, you said ten. I've given you the thumbs up. Oh my god, you absolute twat face. <laughs> Increasingly, Ardle puts me in mind of a provincial vicar who comes round to help in the garden but makes things worse. <laughs> <laughs> Am I close to the rope? Mm. Mm. Been closer. Oh, what's this? That would be a fence. Oh, I don't think. No. <laughs> oh. Oh. Look. Flap. I, I like what Judy's doing. I'm just sort of wandering around. <laughs> oh, Bridget. Oh. <laughs> is that another bloody fence? Oh. If I just move the rope. Okay, okay. Oh, They're probably all going to figure out the same thing. What are you doing, Judy? <laughs> Falling over. <laughs> I've got the clock. Hey! Okay. So those were the rope movers. Judy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Alex? Oh! Breaking! Yes, I've stopped the clock. Congratulations. I didn't notice uh, Bridget's holster on her thigh in episode one. And I've been alerted that she's doing Lee Van Cleef. In the good, the bad, and the ugly. Angel eyes. Bravo to her commitment to the cause. Right, and to Bridget's system. System? Yeah. <laughs> Bridget had no system. I think if I'd done ten spins, I'd have... It would have been less of a shit show, would it? <laughs> oh, I'd, I'd have been, it'd have been seconds, I expect. <laughs> 11 minutes 30. Judy, she was... Can't quick. be good. It was 4 minutes 15 seconds. <gasps> Ardle's finding flapping throwing. Two minutes ten. Really? Go and drink some water. What you're eating's full of salt. Your body needs water. Thank you for you the need tip. To stop. Very good advice, Greg. Uh, especially on a Friday morning. After a celebratory Thursday evening. They're really, really young compared to the others. It's Sophie and Chris. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> All the information's on the top. Which I can't read. <sighs> I've got the top. All time great. I'm I'm saying it now. Not quite. Oh. Dang the best thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. <laughs> Do 
not pan down and might have an erection. <laughs> <laughs> Was. was it his first throw? Was there a system? Oh, you never thought the flapping system would be beaten, did you? <laughs> <laughs> she promised to pay anyone who beat her twenty pounds. Oh. So, <laughs> I guess what we need to do is compare the see times. The two throws next to each other in real, actual, real time. Oh, oh, this is exciting. Oh, Abby. Oh, no. yeah. Oh, oh, I think she's gonna win. I think Sophie's got it. Yeah! <laughs> ah! Alright. Bye, Chris. Bye, Alex. Bye, easiest task of the series. In which you came second in. <laughs> Let's be honest, speaking about the whole room, who thought that that would be exciting? <laughs> But who's in the lead? It's Ardlo Hanlon with eight points at this yeah. stage. I am, I am surprised. I think it's as many points as he had in all of the first episode. Ooh, slug shots. We're, we're focusing on insects. I'm intrigued. Ooh, very cozy, isn't it? This why why do we keep focusing on the, the spider webby antenna? Reveal the coolest photo in your phone. Oh. Let me see, let me see, let me Coolest see. Coolest photo on my Ooh, phone. That one's a bit naughty. I've got some good... <laughs> I'd like to see it. No. 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 It's me paddleboarding. I've got some decent That's wildlife cool. shots on mine. I've got one of Margaret Atwood reading her own book. Lorraine Kelly. Is he like kingfishers? Margaret Atwood, shout out to the Canadian great. I've got, I've got some good shots of uh, Lego ramps with my nephews. Recreate the coolest photo in your phone. Oh, recreate it? Well, I'm glad I didn't pick the tiger. Le Lego ramps would have been cool. Well, let's yeah. see them preparing their replica photos. I'm going to do your nipples, and then I'm going to do your face. Huh? I need a onesie. Faces! Faces! Ah! What? That foot is in that hole. I don't think it's going to work. I think I've got a bit of a handle on what Judy, Ardle, and even Chris are up to. The other two... I'm not a not clue. Really ...scare the shit out of me. <laughs> and I don't know what this madness is. It's, it, you know, I'm off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's the sort of teaser we need to go into a break. <laughs> Here's Chris's recreation of the cool photo. So nice. This was the original photo. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really good. Do you know I'm a qualified social worker, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's well done. Just in the bottle or something to make it yellow. How did they There's get the onesie so good? Or is that something like, that must be photoshopped? It's like the exact same pattern. Bridget's coolest photo in her phone. <gasps> wow. Oh yeah. my god. She's in the air. <laughs> The hooded man in the original isn't pissing against the wall. <laughs> We're going to see Sophie's original photo first. Her coolest photo was of a dog in Ghana. There it is. OK. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I think we know where this is going. This is what happened next. <laughs> I, d I, I won't know which one's which. <laughs> I think you've got the breed wrong. <laughs> I've got the teats. The teats are wet. The bags. I'm, I'm very are aware wet. of the wet teats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See Judy's cool photo. It's her performing at Wembley Arena. Wonderful. Mm. I mean, you'll barely notice the change. Here we go. I'm not going to tell you when I've done it. Just a quarter of an hour she did that. The guy with the... Look, look at the teeth. The one at the top with the teeth. Yeah, yeah. On the That's second the dog one. from the last four <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> You've got the... Oh, the dog is the one. Again, in just 15 minutes, here's his picture. <laughs> with just a touch of a button. There's the original. Some football in Ireland. Yeah. 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 
love of the man. <laughs> you said the breed of my dog was different. <laughs> <laughs> There's some quality there. Uh, Chris has to win, right? Well, over with. I yeah, mean, although, although... In last place first, please, Greg. Well, I mean, come on. Arden <laughs> <laughs> gets one point. Correct. Yeah. Really. Bridget's is actually pretty solid. It feels like... Is it another tragic silver medal for Chris? Yeah, and I do <laughs> think it's cruel because I very much enjoyed this very picture. Good. So Bridget takes it. It's really? It's really? Good. All right. It's the man pissing against the wall effect. It's the first team task of the series. Oh, cool. We've been wondering, oh, is it boys against girls, the way they reacted there? There's been debate about what the teams were going to be in this series. Ah, how's it going, man? Oh, Good to see right? you. Okay, the boys are together. Is it just them? Where does Bridget show up? Bridget's got to go with the ladies. Otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, it's white versus black, and that would be awkward. Yeah. <laughs> Score a goal. With each of the exercise balls. You may only move the exercise balls on the pitch when driving the buggy. Each person must score a goal using their own personal wheels to drive the buggy. Oh, sorry. I mean, I'm honestly, so sorry. I right, didn't listen to any of that. <laughs> oh, Bridget. Uh, would the instructions be any clearer? Really okay, slowly. Okay. Score a goal. Oh, no, this is going to really stress me out. There is a line. <laughs> Where is the buggy? Find the buggy. <laughs> okay, maybe walk around, boys. Someone look for the buggy. Oh, is that the buggy? I haven't finished. We're okay. only oh, no. through. Oh, they're going to hate Bridget. Yeah, Judy and Sophie are going to hate Bridget. Right, Come on, boys, walk around! Oh, there it is. <laughs> Very hard to pick who I think is going to be worse. <laughs> <laughs> From where we were, that bit of wood was obstructing the view you, of the buggy. Oh, you was the same place where we was, weren't yeah. you? We found it straight away. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Okay. It's good. <laughs> Arnold, get out of the way! There we go, there we go. Okay. Oh, you've got to actually swap out the wheels. Okay. I get it, I get it. Oh no. Oh! Look at look at Arnold! What a machine! <laughs> Natural sportsman. Where we go? Wonderful work, sir. Turn us on. Yeah. Oh, it's like watching the the Mercedes pit crew at uh, La Manza. Uh, they should have let Arnold go twice. Come. It's in. It's over the line. Okay. Okay. That that seems pretty good. I think I think Bridget's going to drive. Judy and Sophie crazy based on what we saw before. Throughout that, I felt like a proud father watching his two weird sons have fun together. So I'm age nine. My tongue helped a lot. Uh, my, my tongue is, is a sort of a throttle. <laughs> Their total time was eight minutes and 38 Ooh. seconds. It's certainly beatable, though. Bridget, you want to go first? Bridget, you look like... No. Last night... I genuinely pointed the remote control at the oven, and so I'm not going first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, no, the boys are good. Go, really? Three minutes just to set up. Ah! Oh, boy. <laughs> she just missed it. Okay. I think we can touch the ball when it's not on the pitch. Can they? Uh, is that what they said in the rules? That may be problematic. Yes! Go! All right, well done. Keep, keeping the ball uh, positioned between the feet seems to be a good strategy. Oh, they're taking three minutes of change. This is, uh, yeah, they're lost. They spent six minutes in the pits already and they still have another change to go. Have you done this before? No. No one's done this before. <laughs> Guys, I just need it to go straight. Is she just like spinning around the ball? You're not allowed to touch the ball. I feel like that's uh 
touching the ball with your hands. I, I don't know. I don't know. All right, one more go, score. <laughs> oh, oh, that was a quicker pit stop at least. Can that be done? Oh, there, that, that's Ardo level tongue action. I hope this isn't offensive. Uh, screamed <laughs> like a lamb. <laughs> oh, that's fine. You can say that. Judy, I hope this isn't insulting. <laughs> <laughs> Initially, I thought you had um, the rictus grin of Davros from the Daleks. <laughs> <laughs> there was something about the stillness. <laughs> It was going really slow. Oh, well, I thought that was you doing that on purpose. I thought you were being quite poised. Oh, was that? Can I control the speed? <laughs> <laughs> what an entertaining team they are. Oh, they're lovely the to watch. The flair of the individuals. Yes, useless but fun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen minutes and two seconds from the go. Oh. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. It's up to you, Greg, to divide the points. Normally, it's five points split between the two teams. So it's up to you. Oh, well, I can't give my lovely boys nothing. No, no, well, they won. <laughs> <laughs> Greg's drunk. <laughs> I think five and three feels fair. Oh. Five and three? Extra right. points. <laughs> yeah, right, fine, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah cool. So we're getting three points. Three points. Yeah. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just random extra points. All right, what do we got here? Ooh, a seated task. Identify the object under your table and draw it on the canvas on the underside of your table. You must also write oh. down three words to describe your object. Most accurate drawing wins. Stay menacingly at the taskmaster at all times. So you feel what's under the table. You draw upside down on a okay, canvas oh, yeah. and you write three words. Do you have to... Oh, and it's all different. Even better. Oh, that I, I remember that camel yes. from the smallest gap. Seconds. <laughs> oh, is it? What What is on that vase? Is it just jam? Only a hundred seconds. That's working for colors. What what is what is Judy doing? <laughs> Man, I'm not sure that's menacing anymore. It's just Are you all right, Sophie? frightening. Okay, okay, well that's so look. I wrote uh, wet horse green. Wet horse green. Not a wet green horse. No. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> okay. Jack. It's a wet yeah. camel. It is soaking wet here. Oh, okay. Right. Sorry, is it is it worth me saying? That's rubbish. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Bridget. What have you drawn? Birdie hand finger. Birdie hand finger. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a character from a 60s film. Ooh. Ooh, birdie oh, birdie hand finger. Yes. There's your birdie hand finger. Okay, well, let's she, she's gotten the there. essence of it. Oh, what? It's it was not it? awful. It's a pretty credible because honestly, I from here, I don't know what that object is. It's a rubber glove frozen in a fridge with two fingers snapped off. Oh, of course. Of course. What do you think you've got in your hand? I don't know, I've sniffed it, but I'm frightened to lick it. <laughs> <laughs> do not lick it. Gunky slime, and I tried to write vase. Gunky slime vase. Well, I think he's got that. That's his picture of a gunky slime vase. Oh, well, I mean, honestly. That's a gunky slime vase! <laughs> oh, oh, you... It's a gunky slime gunky vase! Slime <laughs> vase. <laughs> it's a fish vase covered in jam. Oh, it's just jam, okay. Sea crab lobster. Oh. Give yourself a couple of options. And said three words. Yes, no, I, I, yes. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Look, let me show you something. Okay. Let me show you something. Yes. Right. That's the sea. That's the sea. No. Oh, yeah. And that's the lobster bit at the sides. Come on. <laughs> nice. But why is this hers? Why is this hers not wet or gunky or frozen? I've written down, difficult to see. Yes. What do you think it is? 
like a really effective condom. <laughs> Pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pineapple, that's all it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it would be very unfair for me to make a distinction between Ardles and Sophie's, being as they both are rubbish. I think Gunky uh, Slime how, how, is how probably the three points because okay. it's a basic interpretation of quite a Whoa, 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 how is Sophie doing so well? <laughs> Flavours of the Sea. Take second place with four. Wonderful. How is and Sophie? Whatever that pointy finger thing was, takes the full five points. Congratulations. Oh, okay, sorry, I misheard. I thought Bridget got the... Got the one. Phew, I was worried there for a minute. It was almost enough to give her the episode win, but not quite. Oh. For the second episode in a row, we have, oh. we have the winner. It's Mr. Chris Ramsey this time. Oh. Yeah. Again, Chris. A lot closer this week than last, though. Well, at least he gets to keep his robotic lawnmower. That's it, then. Until next time, take care of yourselves, and well done again to Chris Ramsey! It's a nice piece of kit. That was fun. Great episode. I think one of the benefits of this season is they've had the last three years developing tasks and I'm sure part of the process has been can we do that in a COVID friendly way no well we'll have to save that and so there have been a bunch of tasks that have been saved for this season that would have otherwise been great in earlier seasons and we're getting them all that's my operating theory right now anyway because yeah, I feel like the tasks this this season are a ton of fun and just fully enjoyable. But, I mean, what's ultimately making this season is the cast. The cast is great. I There was some speculation about what the teams would be for the team tasks. And I, 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 I'm not necessarily a, f a fan of always splitting the teams down... What, what seems to be a very common theme is either it's men versus women or old versus young, even though Victoria Corn Mitchell did not deserve to get lumped into old um, last last series. Nevertheless, it, I, I hope I hope at some point they just do a completely random mix up of of, of players, but. I, I think they were smart. Obvious. Like, I was really worried about where, which side Bridget would go, but I think they're obviously smart enough on Taskmaster not to make it white versus black. So it made sense. Okay, we'll, we'll do. This will be a, a men versus women series, and Ardle will benefit. Ardle will benefit because Chris definitely seems to be the front runner right now. He seems very capable. Kudos to him for the one throw to the Maypole. He just needed to, to be a little quicker because uh, Sophie still beat him. Um, we're, yeah, we're seeing we're seeing some strong performances here. That was a that was a tough prize task this week. What would you what would you show to an alien? Bring something that you would show to an alien. And is it just like I, I really? I mean, it all comes down to the argument. Uh, because as Greg said, you know, Arnold just brought in a, a piece of a piece of shit mirror, mirror, sorry, and uh, and won because he had a good argument behind it. <laughs> I don't know what was going on with with that drawing that Sophie brought in, or even even quite sure what Chris was thinking with the robot lawnmower. Although, like like Greg said, nice piece of kit. Another really fun episode, guys. I'm looking forward to this whole season. I think it's going to be a really strong one. I think it's going to go down as um, a really memorable one. Who knows what else may happen over the course of the series, but I'm looking forward to watching every episode. I will do my darndest to edit this as quickly as I can. And I'm sorry that you had to wait because I'm not going to have this completed today, which is Friday. Um, I will try and get it out in the next day or two, but I cannot promise. Like, uh, just because, like I said at the beginning, 
This is my this is my parents' anniversary weekend. I will do everything I can, um, but thank you for understanding. And uh, until next week, everybody, take care, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.